What's up guys? Dino here. I'm here to do another sketch video. Today we're going to be sketching a particular animal called Coelophysis. Coelophysis lived in the early Triassic, um, back then where um, dinosaurs were kind of rare. And basically um, the land was dominated by giant reptiles. And there was only a few handful of dinosaurs. Um, one of the main ones was Coelophysis, and it was a meat-eating theropod that walked on two legs, had long legs, long neck, and was, had very sharp teeth. It mostly resembled a lizard with a very, very, very um, long neck. And Coelophysis um, has been found to have been a quite swift hunter. Um, scientists have discovered um, that Coelophysis was probably smart enough to hunt in gangs and attack their prey. Um, there were also bipedal crocodiles. Yes, bipedal crocodiles. Um, and they looked very dinosaur-like. They looked very dinosaur-like. Um, so right now, we're going to get right to it. I'm going to stop talking for now, and let's get right to it. So you just want to add a very slender mouth. I may have made it a little too um too long, but it's all right. You always can go backwards. That's the good thing about sketching. You can always go backwards, no matter what. And then what you want to do is just give it that kind of lizard-like appearance. Give it that. It needs very big eyes. All dinosaurs need big eyes. Add a little pupil. And then you just go like that. And then we're going to go on to the body. This might be a quite um, slow video. I'm not so sure. But I'm betting my chances is a slow video right now because I'm kind of on a little tired on the tired side. So I kind of get tired easily. But not going to stop me from it's not going to stop me from doing this so don't worry so then you just want to add um, some very um, long long arms now the hand is a little weird I'll get right to that I'm, I'm going to fix it right away but yeah. This just helps me right here. There we go. Just wanna add those little little nails or toenails. Give it a very cute looking appearance. He looks pretty mad, huh? <laughs> very mad Coelophysis, huh? And this would help educate your kid if you want because um, it's always nice teaching your kids or teaching yourself how to do new things. And trust me, I did not know that much about dinosaurs when I was a little kid. When I was a little kid, the only thing I knew is that they were scaly and ugly. But, yeah. So then what I want to give him is a very long tail. And this is because a little, this, this is because, bleh, this is because Coelophysis had a um, very long neck and the neck would have been very heavy. And so would the head be. So, um, even though it had like bones, um, it still needed to carry that head and that long neck. So it had a very long tail that was very similar to a um, lizard's because it was very long and very lizard-like. Add those little claws. Little, little claws. And 
Now, back then when Coelophysis was around, and I'm just going to give you some information. Back then when Coelophysis was around, um, there were incredibly um, um, bizarre life there. There were firms. There were firms, okay? There were firms. Um, there were um, insects you probably never seen before. And there were a lot of um, amphibians, which were actually quite large. Amphibians back then were incredibly large. They were at least, um, some would get the size of a crocodile. That's pretty big, huh? It's really big. Now, I'm adding some kind of feather on this dinosaur's, I mean, feathers. I'm adding feathers on this dinosaur because, um, well, I like feathers. Um, and feathers always seem to look nice on my dinosaurs, certain kinds. And it's going to give it a very bird-like appearance. I always like my dinosaurs looking really, really bird-like. Get the little pit there. Some nice weathering. So, yeah. And right now, I'm just, like, sketching the muscles. Make sure you get everything right. Little tiny scales now. I'm gonna add the little scales. It's very hard to do with a very thick leaded pencil. But yeah, I, I mean I try. You always have to try. I'm just going in darker now. And now we are going to add these little like, little chicken sketches kind of thing. A little thing like that. Like fleek, 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 fleek. Just go like that. And just to make it look more like feathers like it's supposed to be. And we're, I like to add spots on mine because I think spots are kind of nice. I don't know. Um, I always seem to like spots and stripes and all those kind of big deals on dinosaurs and including theropods. Theropods are the main ones, and I add all kinds of things on them, all kinds. It's just because I like these kind of things. And for those of you who hear that, that is my dog. She is, what is she doing? She's biting her foot, that is weird. <laughs> okay, I'll leave her be. And if you want, I can show her. I can show you um her in a minute after I'm done because she's a really cutie. And yes, she's a she, obviously. Just adding those little spots, and this doesn't take long as long as you do bigger ones. But I always seem to like do small ones. Small ones look nice on mine. And. Just keep going. Some little wrinkles. Right there and there. Make it look nice. Really nice. I think I'm almost done actually. Great. So let's add some striping here actually. I like that. Let's add some striping. Can't see it. I'm gonna move this right here, okay? Add some little striping just to make it look a little nice. Um, I always seem to like that. You can do any kind of way. You can do just pure straight, um, pure straight lines. I like to go like this because it's quicker, and then I like to straighten them out. But I mean, whatever's up, whatever's on your mind, you can do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, that was looking very nice. Let's add little detailing right here, little little tiny scales on the lips. It's very hard to do with a pencil like this again. So yeah, I think we're almost done. Almost done. Yay. I keep like that. And I think we are 
I think we are actually done. Great. Well, there you have it. This is basically how to sketch your own coelophyses. I'm gonna be doing a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff besides dinosaurs. I sketch um, dinosaurs, um, dinosaurs, and other things like animals, dinosaurs, characters, creepy pasta, all those stuffy stuff. And um, I like to um, sketch patterns as well. So if you guys are interested in patterns and illusions, I'm right here. Now, um, so yeah, that's, um, that's basically all I can say right now. I mean, I'm already done. Let's get my signature right there. Yeah. So if you like this video, leave a like down below. If you want, you can subscribe. Um, you can subscribe already. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.